Psalm 30. You can see from the introduction to the psalm that this was written by David in later life. He's looking back on his life and he says in verse 6, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. I think he's thinking back to how he was before he sinned with Bathsheba, the woman with whom he, he slept and then had her husband murdered. And he's thinking, yeah, earlier I thought I shall never be moved. So he's asking us to not be ever overconfident of our spiritual position. On one hand, yes, we should be confident that if the Lord Jesus returns now, or if I die now, by his grace, I will be definitely in his kingdom, by grace. Absolutely confident of that. But do not say, I shall never be moved from that position that I am in today. We need to have, on the other hand, this full awareness of our extreme frailty and of the future, the eternal future, that we might miss. You might be condemned at the day of judgment. I might be condemned. Not if the Lord comes now. No, all good. But you can drift off so easily. You can lose that intensity so easily. We see examples of it all around us in our lives, of people we know losing faith. You see it all through the Bible, of people who at one point believed and then they fell away. There's plenty of warning and encouragement in the Bible about this. Don't forget that dimension. Do not forget that. Do not say in your prosperity, I shall never be moved. You might be. And that will help you towards humility. It will help you towards a gentler form of judgment and opinion about others. If you recognize your own possibility of error, your own possibility of failure, and it will keep you on the track in intense relationship with God. I don't want to lose this. He doesn't want you to lose it either. And if you don't want to lose it, he doesn't want you to lose it. You won't. But you've got to be aware of the possibility. 